Greetings fellow space miners, Rodamon here. Thank you for tuning in to Cosmeteer. Episode 3, Money for Mining. So a lot of the power of this ship is its, um... Is that it has mostly forward facing. So I'm adding a lot of um, thrusters on the side so that I can rotate quickly. So that we can point towards danger. Which is going to be fairly important. Okay. I like it. I would have uh, preferred maybe to add some disruptors to it. But I, I don't think I'm going to easily be able to get disruptors in there. Oh, no, I could put disruptors here. And then put the, uh, the side thrusters somewhere else. more standard thrusters yeah there we go tons of standard thrusters they're slightly embedded uh which is not great for nearest power so what i could do is just a large side thruster so it's not so embedded we'll see how it works I bet it will need a lot of fine-tuning. It also is very vulnerable. I haven't added a lot of armor, and we don't have the money to make it so just yet. So this is sort of the stretch. Um, I guess it's a good time to mention armor weaving. Armor weaving is the concept where you have, like, the brick pattern of armor weaving. So that when you're getting shot, um, it's a little bit harder for the the whoever's shooting at you to to knock out your armor. But because I'm using a lot of shields, I think for this design, I'm going to have it be very lightly armored, which is uh, probably a very bad idea, but I'm going to go do that anyway. Very light armor. Mostly so it's lightweight and sleek. Okay. Um, next up, we'll just be earning the credits in order to be able to afford this thing. It has... Um, very, very low storage space. So that would be the one big problem. Can the side layers shoot past the armor? Uh, yeah, they'll be able to shoot. I could uh, actually pun punch them out a little bit so that they're less of an issue because that actually might add some space here. And then they'll be able to shoot past without too much issue, but they will, pr uh, you know, they will stick out a little bit, be easier for them to get hit. Uh, and then that means I can also put some additional storage. Maybe like that. Hmm, no, I don't like there. Let's get rid of the disruptors. As much as I want the disruptors, I think they're disruptive. Put storage in like that. So one of the weaknesses of this design will be shielded enemies. Going to be a little bit harder to contend with, but we'll see. And uh, yeah, I'll name it Flareon. That is what you requested. Okay. Just for design's sake, we'll put little armor triangles in the back here. There. I like it. I like it a lot. All right, so let's earn the money for it. Um, Got to get paid. So the... The destroying the pirate base is going to be beyond my ability. So let's go ahead and head back to Dexaco Station that I just rescued and pick up some missions after I clear this last uh, this last bounty. I'm also six sevenths of the way roving pirates. And then if I hit up these unknown um, signals, I can finish up the explore uh, quest that I have. So this was actually a gold uh, meteor. 
and I'll mark it down. And there's a bunch of surface gold for me to mine up. First time flying? No, but I wouldn't consider myself all experience. How you doing, Ekim? This is definitely a game after your own heart, I think. I'm doing pretty good, man. Just trying to stay afloat. Oh, this was carbon. And I'm marking them down in case I end up getting uh, mining lasers. I'll be able to get all this hard uh, carbon deposits mined as well. Right now, we'll just have to settle on the soft and easy stuff to grab. KSP2 is almost playable, just so I know. 14 FPS. <laughs> Thanks for the information. A AAA title, which is mostly just garbage. It's too bad. I, I didn't have a lot of high hopes for the game. On my Discord server, I have a pretty well-documented history of being very skeptical about uh, the quality of Kerbal Space as it released, because it was purchased by Take-Two. And Take-Two's um, pretty well known to be... N to nickel and dime their games to the point of 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 unenjoyment i guess i'll put it that, that way and uh i was not really surprised by its release and how tragically terrible it was you you agree yeah i know i was uh i ran into so many bugs trying to play that game all right so we are 85k or 86k cost and then this cost can be reduced if I gained uh, some of the materials to be able to do this retooling. Um, which is mostly coils. So if I'm going to do bounty missions, I should save my coils. Because most of the cost of the redesign is, is coil cost. So as I go to the, the bounties, I'll just not sell coils. That bummed you out. You were looking forward until you heard TT was taken over. Not only did TT take over, but if you look into it, the development, um, they somewhat gutted the development team of Kerbal Space, and then the technical director of Kerbal Space 2, this is, was like, you know, we need more staff, and Take-Two was like, no, you don't get it. So they gutted the development team, um, and then denied additional staff to develop it. So they, they really hamstrung the game. So the, the remain I feel bad because the remaining um, people on their development team are really not to blame for its failures. It was the parent company primarily, in my opinion. So I don't, I don't blame the dev team, I blame the, the owner. Bye-bye. Have I played From the Depths? Um, not really, no. Like, minutes, not hours. There was a carbon asteroid back here that I wanted to hit. Small. It's probably not worth returning back to. Eh, I'll mark it anyway. And two more unknown signals, and I'll have the exploration done. So this was a hyper uh, jump beacon. So if I had uh, hyperspace capabilities, I could just jump here and, and automatically. And this is the last roving pi- oh, it's gone. It's harassing others. I'm gonna get you. Okay, my main engines are just not up to snuff to catch this thing. And I just wandered into another fight. It's finally happy you're joining my side of the pond? Oh, congrats! Alright, 
I don't care which roaming pirate I kill, just as long as one of them fights me. Ooh, this is a bit of a tougher fight. Unless I can AoE damage the reactor core, because that's a pretty exposed reactor core. It knocked out one of my shield gens. There we go. So I'm going to have a, a bit of a repair bill after this fight. And I'm out of, I'm out of main cannon ammo. So I'm going to come in for an angled kill here. One of the reasons why, um, personally, I kind of like lasers over over projectiles is as long as you have power, you've got lasers, whereas projectiles you can run out of. So prolonged, long fights, you can, you know, lose because you, um, you just ran out of your ability to continue fighting. Let's go back and receive payment for the exploration and the pirate hunting and the fugitive bounty. And it might actually be enough money to buy the new upgrade. I don't know how many coils we have, though. Let's check. Seven. Seven out of the 150 I need. Yeah, okay. Well, that's not going to help too much, but uh, we'll see. Will I be focusing on a single ship? Eh, probably going to leave it up to you guys. I do find that, in my experience, um, it's a little bit easier to control just a primary ship rather than a whole fleet, but there's a lot of strength in controlling a fleet, because you can hit things at multiple angles, which is a pretty powerful tool. So I don't quite have the materials to make it so, and then also I'm missing a enriched uranium for the reactor. So I would need to get enriched, enriched uranium. No. Oh. Who jumped out of the ship? Get, get in there. Oh, it's the person I just hired. That's my fault. There we go. Leave no red shirt behind. This is a very low yield gold. Return to ship. Well, that's a pretty uh, decent looking ship there. Let's knock the standard cannons out. And then cut the whole thing in two. Again, it, uh, it sh- Oh, we even have a fire. It, um, knocked out our shields, so any of the small coils that I had, we lost again. But maybe I'll get the enriched uranium for the bigger reactor. I don't even have coils for that door. <laughs> well, all right, let's get to a station so that I can open the door to my thruster block. That'd be nice.
Just trying to hit the high value minerals as well to be able to afford the upgrade. So gold, tritanium, uranium. Come on, enter the sh Oh, there we go. Any of that stuff. Carbon. Oh, so there's a carbon and tritanium here. Alright, that should be maybe enough. We'll see. What? There's no... Nope. Oh, there it is. I was going to say, there's no soft carbon for me to mine. There's four. My ship looks like a hammerhead reversing. Well, it's about to look significantly different. Fortunately. I will admit, it's, uh, it's pretty ugly the way it is. So, make it so. Uh, before I make it so... I'm going to save, so, um, just in case I hate it, uh, I can revert it. Okay, so this is design number two. I don't have a crew hatch, so that's obviously a, uh, a fail. Let's put one in. And then I think we are also going to need fire extinguishers. Oh, no, I have them in the middle. All right. I, I will need to hire out some more red shirts. And then I'll sell the excess that I have to be able to afford those hires. Uh, keep the HEs, though. More doors? Nope, no more doors. I think we're good on doors. Didn't mean to cancel the trade from before. I will need to specify where I want to keep my ammo. So, here we go. Resource management. That feeds this. This feeds this. And this. There we go. Okay, looking good. And the next thing to do is the work assignments, the work area assignments. Oh no, no, hire people first. Hire Max, there goes all my monies. All right, so work zones. Um, the people up front, I'm going to have them focus on the main guns and the ammo for the main guns. This group will be shields and lasers. This group will be thruster blocks, cockpit. And we'll see how that works out. Well, let's take on some uh, stronger missions and see if this ship holds up. So there's our new bounties. So we have a mission to contact a new station and then bounties around here. So I'll head south and work my way north. Or whatever. 
a direction. I don't. There's no cardinal directions on these solar systems. Oh, hi. Free enemy. So I think our top speed is a little bit higher with these larger thrusters. I don't know about turn speed yet. Oh, I left people behind. Are you kidding? Yeah, let me just load the save. I'm really bad at that. Hiring people and then immediately taking off before they can board. Wait for the EVA to be zero. They're just taking their, their sweet time. All right, there we go. So top speed is only like 64. So it's not it's not that fast of a ship. I would need more rear facing thrusters. So maybe that will be a way to tune up. So the current priority is test drive the Flareon by blowing things up. So the heavy blasters here, as you can see, they're angling up and they're able to fire forward. And then we have the main cannons and then two large shields, which offer a really big dome of protection. And it overlaps in the middle, which is where the ammo stores are, which is probably the most sensitive spot of the ship. And this thing got obliterated. Not that that was a good test, because the design of that ship that we just blew up was pretty pathetic. Hey, bud. All right, you want to fight? So I don't see anything running low on power. Everything seems to be flowing pretty smoothly. So I think it's, it's pretty well staffed and well designed for at least the types of enemies that I'm currently fighting. That might change as we have to fight missile frigates or shielded ships and things like that, because that is what I'm not good against. Missiles and shields. I'm also out of uh, main gun ammo again. So I'll have to make a pit stop. But um, it handles pretty well. I, I don't think it has any major flaws, which is good. Now, the mixed weapons that you guys have me using, what I will say is as you gain access to stronger weapons, you will definitely have to sort of, you don't have to, but it doesn't really make sense not to specialize your ship. Uh, what I mean by that is once you have access to ion beams, you either go ion beams or rail guns or missiles. You don't kind of mix the three because the way you design a ship for rail guns is very different than the way you design a ship for ion beams, which is very different than the way you design your ship for heavy blasters or deck cannons. Um, so you, you, generally speaking, it's more efficient to specialize because then you're not having to accommodate um, so many different facilities which will bloat your ship and make it run poorly. So uh, after doing a little bit of fine-tuning here and uh, sort of clearing out all that we can do in this sector. I'm gonna have you guys decide on uh, how we specialize. And perhaps even go economy, you know, maybe build a second ship for just mining or something. I'll leave that as an option as well. Uh, building up a fleet instead of specific ships. So was there anything I wanted to change about this design for that last fight? No, I don't think so. I think it handled pretty well. But I'll put it through its, uh, put it through some extra tests. So this ship here is designed to be anti-shield. And we rely on shields for our defense instead of layers of armor. 
So this is a pretty good counter to our ship, but it still didn't do very well. So we just cannoned it to nothing. I am going to make contact with the other station because the worry that I have is um, the amount of ammo that we have. I can also crew management. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's something else I should do. Have more people working to move ammo in the right stocks during downtime. I think this is a Renegade Pack mission. Where it has me killing two, which is fine. Come on, just take out that main cannon. There we go. No, maybe not. No, no, this one's shooting at me too. I can't believe this is a, oh, there it goes barely a ship. Alright. It's handling pretty well. I'm not taking on, like, ships that are all that strong, though. They're all fairly weak targets. But for this solar system, it's passing in flying colors. Question, uh, for next design, what weapons should I focus on? Lasers, beams, uh, deck guns, missiles, rail guns. I'll give you five minutes to vote on that. Can you color staff uniforms? You can. I don't really need to. I don't have a large enough ship to have designated roles or anything like that. But, like, you could. So if I wanted uh, a pilot, I'll give you, I'll just show you an example. Let's give our pilots blue, teal, and job priority for the pilots will be to operate cockpit, control rooms, bridges at 10, and then you could assign uh, specifics to pilots. So, like, uh, there's a pilot room now, and everybody in there is going to be prioritizing pilots. Because I don't have a large enough ship to have that, to have the the need for designated roles like that, I'm not going to do it, but yeah, you can absolutely set it up that way. So it looks like we're starting to take out uh, threes as well. Which is good. And the other thing I'll ask after this is whether you want me to focus on fleet or primary ship or do something else like mining 
or assembly manufacturing. Because there's a... Yeah, there's a bunch of things to do in the game. Alright, we got plenty of ammo now. And a lot of a lot of targets out there to be paid for. So current priority right now is uh, save up money for additional goals. I also wouldn't mind blowing up a pirate base at some point. I don't think that this ship is able to blow up pirate bases in its current iteration, but once I feel that we're ready, we could try it. Safe course for building? Um, we're not quite there yet. I'm going to need a lot more money for the blueprints for whatever weapons you guys decide for me to unlock. And also specialty resources that uh, that don't occur at a high ratio in the starter system, like Tritanium. So you can see all the crew moving around, keeping everything running efficiently. I think I'm going to need to run to town to sell some stuff after this salvage. As we are just about maxed out. So I'm going to have a little bit of a runoff here because lasers and railguns were pretty well tied. But um, next, I'm going to decide what next goal should be. Work on the flagship. Build a second ship. Mine and manufacture. Um, fine tune the current ship. Oh, I won't even include that or other. Other is always viewer suggestions, and I'll open up the the goal for that. Saving up the monies. All right, looking good. Let's keep clearing. I'm also going to hit the unknown signals too uh, for the exploration quest. Oh, it's a jump beacon. We're going to be stuck in this system until I incorporate hyperspace jump into the ship design, but I'm in no rush for that. I mean, we'll get around to that eventually. Oh, so here we go. This is a missile platform. Luckily, the missiles are coming at our shields, but sometimes what ha ends up happening, um, well, that platform's gone, is that the missiles will like go around and hit you from the back, which is why point defense is necessary. It doesn't take a lot of point defense to basically completely shut down 
uh, missile ships from being able to mess with you. But there's also a small storage pot over there. Cool. What's in the box? Hey, Major Tonga. Well, I'm happy to bring this game to... So this was Tri-Steel. Nice, and diamonds. Diamonds are for uh, prisms and lasers, beams. And Tri-Steel is just like a high-level uh, stuff. So let's mark this down as loot. And I'll come back for it in just a minute. Because I'm full up. This current ship design doesn't have a lot of storage. So it's a weakness. I decided not to incorporate a lot of storage to try to keep the footprint of the ship small and to keep it maneuverable with a smaller crew. But it does mean we need to make multiple trips. Um, because A, it uses projectile weapons, so it requires ammo, which takes up storage room. And then B, um, you know, it just ha only has a few stores. Also not too fast, yeah. I don't have uh, a ton of speed in this thing either. It ain't perfect, never said it was, but it is getting the job done. So it does appear like you guys want me to mine and manufacture. Um, how should I handle mining? A second dedicated mining ship or add mining lasers Add a mining laser to the flagship. So the cost of a second dedicated ship is not insignificant, right? If I'm to build a second dedicated ship, but then it means that the flagship doesn't require the infrastructure to handle like mining lasers. So it's um, both could work. Let's see what you guys think. Oh, look at this. So here's an ion beam. So we're seeing the first time so far an ion beam in action. So an ion beam is like a high-powered laser, and you can use uh, prisms to focus the laser to make really, really powerful death beams. Um, and they're very, very accurate, provided your ship can rotate effectively. So they can be very effective, like scalpels to disassemble enemy ships. Uh, but they're a little tricky to design for. And some of the more complicated designs in this game, I'm like, I'll just fully say I'm not good at. This is tagged with beginner plays for a reason. Because I would not consider myself an expert at this game. Nowhere, nowhere even close. I just know the basic game mechanics. And that's about it. Why not also have a second ship as a cargo hauler? So the reason... You could have a second ship as a cargo hauler. So here's the issue is once you have a bunch of additional ships, they have to somewhat be able to, to defend themselves because unless you want to escort the mining ship around all the time or park it at a station that has like defenses or whatever, if your mining ships or cargo ships or salvage ships or whatever can't defend themselves, pirates are going to harass them and destroy them. And it's very costly to lose a ship. Either you'll have to continually save scum or pay ridiculous costs to be able to replace it when they get inevitably get blown up from something stronger than them. So one of the issues of, of running a fleet is either you have to keep your fleet entirely together, which is very cumbersome um, and sort of labor intensive, micromanagement intensive, um, or to have them dry docked a lot of the time somewhere safe so that they don't get blown up from everything that's trying to blow them up. So it's entirely possible to have very specialized designated ships uh, in a fleet, you just need to know what will happen if you do that. Because it comes at it comes at a bit of a cost. Of a management cost and a and you know your own stress of constantly losing utility ships. 
All right, so add a uh, second dedicated mining ship. Cool. Uh, let's see if this station can accommodate for that. Um, that also means that I'm going to have a raffle timer up for the name of the second dedicated mining ship. So good luck, uh, subscribers in the chat. I think what I'll do is blow a few enemy ships up first to lower the cost of building a dedicated miner. Primarily the enriched uranium for the, um, the reactor. And then the other thing I wanted to ask is, oops, hang on, I just screwed up the, um, the raffle timer. So I'm going to reset the raffle timer because I just blew it up. So, new raffle timer, sorry about that. Uh, the other thing I wanted to pull was, um, what weapons to use on the flagship? Lasers or railguns? Because they kind of tied in the last pull. So... This isn't for immediately now, this is for like a distant redesign, um, but whether you want lasers. So lasers, when I say lasers, I mean heavy lasers and disruptors, primarily, not ion beams. They're different, because beams were its own category last time we pulled, or railguns. I will also caveat that I'm not great at designing um, rail ships or... Uh, or beam ships, but I will give it my best. I'll be able to do it well enough to, you know, to muscle my way through the process. But rails, rails can be pretty tricky to design. But I'm absolutely 100% happy to demo. Here's yet another uh, prism beamer. Boom, you're done. That was quick, quick little KO. So there's a little uranium that we got off the core there. I suppose the other thing that I hadn't even it hadn't occurred to me just till just now is we could actually try to capture one of these ships and use it as our own. Building a money ship. Uh, capture one of the ships and use it as our own in order to not have to build from scratch. I haven't done that much in this game, so I'm a little foggy about the details. But if I um, go to one of these targeted bounties and there is... If I think it's salvageable, I will do that. In fact, uh, for this fight, what I could do is I could turn off the main guns. Just turn them off entirely, because the main guns kind of destroy way more than I intend. Problem, ah, uh, no, this is not gonna work for this ship. So the problem is my heavy blasters, because they're on the wings, can't shoot at close distance to, um, on ships like this. So I just have to blow this thing up to smithereens, in other words. I like how this ship's still trying to fight me even though I didn't even have a weapon. If I take the thrusters out, the crew will abandon the ship. I took the, uh... I took the, uh... What's it called? The, um cockpit up. The, the, the issue is I don't have a ship that's like agile enough to sort of dismantle enemy ships effectively. So capturing ships like this is uh, a little tricky for my current design. This is really not designed for it. But 
because yeah, I would need I would need processors, at least two processors if I end up nuking the um the cockpit. Thank you for tuning in to Cosmeteer, which originally streamed live on Twitch April 15th. If you have any feedback or questions for me, let me know in the comments below. But please keep in mind that this was a one-time only mini-series and also a beginner's plays, so I'm not really looking for gameplay, tutorial, and feedback help. If you'd like to catch a live stream of mine, Rodamot.com has my stream schedule and countdown timer to upcoming streams. If you would like to join my gaming community, Rodamot.com also has a link to Discord, as does the description of this video. Thank you so very much for watching, and a special thank you to my Patreon patrons, Twitch subscribers, and viewers that supported the miniseries, and viewers also like you that made it all the way to the credits and support the channel. So thank you so very much. I'll catch you in next episode or an upcoming stream. Farewell, my fellow Cosmeteers.